So as you know, Thrustmaster gave me the shifter, which was really, really awesome. But here's now an unboxing of the T3PA add-on, which allows me to actually use the clutch along with the shifter. Because, you know, it's kind of it's kind of useful if you can use a clutch with a shifter. Otherwise, you may have some problems. But anyway, so this is a three-pedal set, completely adjustable, clutch, brake, accelerator, as you already know. Part of the ecosystem, so it actually works on the T500 RS, T300 RS, T300 Ferrari GTE, and the TX458 wheel. You know, all of those that I've mentioned in the past. It's very, very high quality straight away is my first opinion on this product. As in, the stability is there that was not on the default pedals for me. It, you can straight away feel that it's a little bit heavier, but the weight distribution of the pedals is definitely something much, much better than the stock pedals that come with any wheel that you kind of buy. Uh, in where that... It's much more weighted at the bottom, so when you push hard onto those pedals, it doesn't necessarily tilt backwards like you got with, you know, sometimes when you really push on both pedals, say on the last one. But I mean, you've obviously got to be switching between the clutch and the accelerator and the brake very, very quickly with these. So it's something very, very useful, especially, well, when you're racing, you don't want your pedals to flip over because... It's not very useful, is it? So this is actually, once again, a really customizable or adjustable product. So all three pedals are adjustable with spacing. All three pedals are adjustable by angle, and the accelerator pedal is adjustable by height setting. So there's a lot of things you can change here. And not only that, there's actually a conical brake mod, which this basically means there's a lot of rubber cone underneath the brake pedal. So in a real car, when you press, there's like a, a biting point of the brake. Um, and you can basically adjust that to how you want. There's like a little screw uh, and a, a nut that you can twist and you basically adjust it so the, the biting point is earlier on or it's later on. And if you really don't want the biting point, you can remove it completely. So I'm really glad they added that in because it's an extra thing to add into the product rather than going and trying to make it yourself or add one in later. They actually provided that with the actual thing. So once again, ridiculously easy setup thanks to the ecosystem. Take the cable, plug it into the back of the wheel, whip to do da, you're done. Now, if games do not support the clutch, so Drive Club, for example, does not support the clutch, all you have to do is ignore the clutch pedal. Like you put your positioning of your foot different if you want to, so you can have it to just on the brake and the accelerator all the time like the last pedals, except it will be much more sturdy and the brake has a biting point and you know all the customization as I said before. So you know it's really, really really good that you can actually change all of this and play around with it and the fact that it actually works even if the clutch doesn't work in you know a specific game because it would be quite annoying if i had to keep switching between them especially because these pedals are much much sturdier and in my opinion a million times better. Unlike every other product in the ecosystem, Thrustmaster actually allow you to, well, have screw holes on the bottom of the pedals already out of the factory. So you can just screw this into your setup, your Wheelstand Pro, your big setup that you've got for your triple screen monitors that move around. I want one of those so badly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's the ability to do that, which is really, really awesome. So everything inside the pedals is 100% metal. So once again, it's very, very solid, and it's going to last you a very, very long time. Like, well, Thrustmaster products are always going to, because obviously, from what we've seen, they have the whole heart technology thing in the wheels and the shifter, and it's absolutely awesome. Everything's internally metal, because, you know, it's not going to snap very easily, unless you're in, like, some really hot place. I don't know. But uh, there you go. There, there is my kind of little overview of the pedals. I've got to say, I would not be able to go back to the other pedals after using these. They were much more solid and in place, much more customizable for how I like, and obviously it's got the clutch, so kind of required unless I turn it off, and if I turn it off, I'm going to use these pedals anyway. Not much else to say. But there you go. The price and everything will be down below. You can check it and buy it yourself if you want to. And once again, thank you to Thrustmaster for sending these pedals out to me.